Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. I'll tell you what, and I will tell you what, we are out in North Dakota, one of my favorite places in the whole world to be, and we're with our good friend Jeff Vandermortel and our new friend, Kellen Lantendress, and we're out here today, everybody, fishing muskies. Yes, I mean muskies in North Dakota. Yeah, Lake Skakwea has a lot of big pike, and I guide with some other buddies, and we do uh, we do walleye, we do pike, we do actually smallmouth bass. We got a lot of smallmouth bass, great fishery for smallmouth bass and muskies, so try to do it all. What a great place North Dakota is to bring your family, you know, and do some great fishing out here. I mean, there's several big resorts, lots of guide services, but the resources out here, like you're saying, you got a tremendous smallmouth, you got walleye fishing is unbelievable. You know, you got giant pike and obviously muskies, great perch fishing. I mean, North Dakota is no doubt a fishing, hunting mecca for sure. For sure, yep, I, I think we got a great resource here and we have lots of little mom and pop restaurants and hotels and good accommodations and yeah. I love North Dakota. Right, it's a great place to live. Hey, before we go out, let's kind of like tell everybody, we're really, what are we gonna be kind of keying in on for structure today? I mean, we're gonna be fishing deep, we're gonna be fishing shallow, we're gonna be fishing everything. Uh, we're gonna be casting rubber, we're gonna be casting blades. I mean, what is our game plan for this morning? And we're gonna be fishing a day and a half with you. Yeah, weeds are key for me, weeds are key. So we fish a lot of outside weed edges as uh, you'll see throughout the day coming up here. And in the morning, we'll catch them hopefully a little bit shallower. We'll, we'll, we'll try to key on some fish that have moved up overnight. Okay. And as the sun cut rise comes up, and um, they'll probably move out and disperse at the a little bit deeper water. And we'll, we'll probably start with blades, um, throw in some Jenny Boo baits, and then as the day progresses, we might throw a little more rubber. Okay, so. that sounds awesome. Hey everybody, I'll tell you what, and I will tell you what, hang on to your hineys. Let's see what happens out here in North Dakota. Hey, let's get that 2090 in the water and go fishing. Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats, Vortex, Tubble Towels, Fartline Barrels, Magic Products, Power Sports Company, Mike's Country Meats, The MRD Group, Leroy Meats, Easy Loader Trailers, and heavy shot. Do you remember like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. Before that, I had a little tick. I'm like, I think I just got bumped. That sure enough. Fun. Well, I have to review to you pro tip of the day. The pro tip is what? Oh, you're the Lion King. Oh no, you are what? The Thank tiger! You. <laughs> <laughs> you cheat. That's cheating. Oh, that play. is cheating. Oh boy. You're going to the trip. Woo. You gotta love it. Yeah, it didn't take long, man. Really cool. Oh, that fish bit right at the start of moon. Um, we talked to Kellen on the phone. He said the mornings have been best. And the moon lines up with our mornings here. So we got out here as soon as we could. 15 minutes in, we got one on the, in the bag. So those windows can happen fast and tight. Most musky guys follow that pretty heavily. And uh, we'll get back to work here, see if we can get a couple more while the window's open. So. Dude, you called it. Woo. So nice this is a good job, spot. Man. It's what, 10 minutes to moon? Boom. Oh. Nice done, boss. The window's open right now. Things are aggressive. And that's the name of the game when it comes to muskies is definitely capitalizing on these windows. There he is. <laughs> nice job. Woo. Woo Gotta love it. Whoa, 
yeah, baby. Woo! All right. I'll tell you a little bit more in a little bit. Woo! That was cool. Woo! Look at that. My first North Dakota muskie. You know, again, like I was saying a little bit earlier, you just don't think of coming to North Dakota and fishing muskies, but we're doing it, I'll tell you. What a great start to our first morning here in North Dakota, muskie fishing. And you know, we were lucky enough this morning that we were in a major right away at light. And I'll tell you, it definitely paid off. We got uh, three fish in the boat, had a few other fowls, and uh, now we're kind of in between and just kind of on the grind here for a while, which is fine with me. Yeah. Holy man, what do you got on there? I, I know you've been switching me baits a, like crazy. Huh? Uh, back to the bucktail. You are back to the bucktail, huh? That one just, I'm gonna uh, get out of your way. Holy cow. Kellen just uh, told me to go back to these blades as we came onto this spot. I made three, four casts and... Uh, no, are you he, really he, he, fast he or slow? Uh, that one was right as I engaged the blades. He whaled it, but he's staying down. I don't know what I got here. Interesting. Oh, there you go. Woo! Nice fish! I say, he throttled Whoa. it really nice. Oh, man. Good job, buddy. Good call. Nice. Oh, man knows his water, that's oh, nice. No you know, it's funny, that one I would say, if, if anything, it probably landed right on his head. Okay. It was one of those ones, you know, it hit the water, we're running some lighter blades, um, you know, just per the design of this bucktail. So you get, give him a little pop, which is pretty standard. A lot of times you, you get a different vibration when you got a different weighting and that on there, but a lot of times the lighter you go, the harder you have to be to get him engaged. So you give him a little pop, and as soon as they started spinning, he just came up and drilled it, so. Wow. Yeah, man. Look at that. There it is. So we came for some tigers. Yep, I knew he was going to do that. Very cool, man. Thanks again. Cool. Thank you guys for coming. Called that one. Talk a little bit real quick. What got you into muskie fishing? You know, I mean, most guides out in North Dakota are definitely walleye bite guides, you know. So what got you into the muskie fishing? Got me getting into muskies is I've always been kind of a, I love big pike. Okay. I've had a passion for big pike and we're blessed in North Dakota to have a lot of trophy pike. And I had a buddy that always wanted to do muskie fishing and we knew nothing about it, no musky waters really in North Dakota at that time. So we actually went out to the Muskie Expo in Minneapolis oh. and uh, went out there, didn't even know what a bucktail was. Bought a rod, bought a couple bucktails. Then we booked a trip to Lake of the Woods to do it yourself. A couple years later, I went with a guide, and um, Jeff Anderson out of Minnesota, and he taught me a lot. And it was uh, kind of a great way to pick up the game and learn how to do all the fundamentals. And, it's just an addiction. It's the chase, like you know. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's a it's a puzzle piece that doesn't end with muskies, and that's what I love about it. Right at the boat! Holy man! Holy cats! Oh my god! Right at the boat! That fish hit right there! Oh! Oh! Cats! I'll tell you what, you guys. Woo hoo! Right on at the boat. That was amazing. I'll tell you. I was just ready to watch the rod back there, in the back of the boat. Yep. I was just ready to. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Man, I was just ready to go into a figure eight, and he just absolutely pounded it. Pound town! Oh, nice job. Whoa! North Dakota muskie fishing. Not a boy, Larry. You got it, man. This is incredible. That was awesome. This is the man right here. I'm telling you, what an awesome experience. Wow! Look at the hat fish. Absolutely beautiful. And the cool part is. I was just going into the figure eight and just up out of nowhere. I never saw the fish come behind the bait. Just out of nowhere, just absolutely T-boned that bait. Hey, Leroy, lunchtime today. Welcome back, Josh, buddy. Hey, how we doing? This is the easiest breading that seriously, that I know of and I use and it's got good flavor. Just dump it in there, guys. And make sure your fish is damp, right? Damp, yep. Put the cover on. Give it a shake. All the breading goes to the bottom, see how it's all in there? Flip it over. I do it two or three times. But you take and you put your fish in one at a time, watch the lights, and why do we do it hot? Don't cool your oil down as fast. And if you guys ever go to a restaurant and the breading falls off, the fish is the reason why. The fish is either frozen or the oil wasn't hot enough. When they start to curl, they're done. That's what they're doing now. See the curl on them, everybody? That nice golden color. They're all golden. They're starting the edges. They're starting to curl in. So, And this stuff, this batter, when I use it, I when I clean my bottom of my fryer, there's hardly anything in there. That's how nice it is. Stinks yeah, to the- perfectly cooked bluegill right there. Do a little bit of this. So I'm going to take these and go home. All right, Whoa. take them with you. <laughs> Let me try one before you do it. Leroy, lunchtime, fresh bluegills with my dressing on, uh, seasoning on. 
No tartar sauce needed. Nope. Jesus, still on. He's hot. Whoa, yes! Woo! Jesus, still on. He's hot. Whoa, yes! Woo! Jeff, that was so cool. Unbelievable. Holy man. Oh, cool. You worked that fish just right. He came in hot and heavy. Holy cat. Oh. oh. That's okay. That's oh, hard that was game. so cool. Woohoo! Man, that he came awesome. in hot. That was that so pause, cool. Baby. Double snap and pause and just... Well, you can get inside their brain like that. Right. And just like, this one's going to eat it and get them to where you want it. And you you know, don't I, always read the playbook, but that one did. That was yeah, cool. I mean, awesome. you know, an interesting... Three-footer and so maybe a little bad. Yeah, and the interesting part is a lot of guys get Got nervous when that happens. You know, if they don't get them on the first True. figure eight, you know, but that's the key. You're always watching them. that fish and see how he's reacting. Yeah, oh, she was oh, angry. Oh, she, was oh, angry. Was, she was That angry. window is wide open. It is. Let's get another one. Nicely done. Right here, big fish. Big fish. Big fish right there, oh, too. I just have him. He's scared. Try to eat. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Mine was a big one. Yeah, big Mine's tiger. 42, 43. Oh, boy. It was. Oh, Larry's is a pike. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Man, my kid, I reel it in fast to go in the net. I look and she's like. Brrr. I can't believe that I caught a, got a pike and you had a big musky chase in yours. Oh. I got yours. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Nice fish. Holy man, I'll tell you what. That is a nice fish. Woo! Nice fish. Holy man, that thing just absolutely pounded that thing. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, yeah! There it is. Oh, that's a giant. That's the one we had off, baby. baby. Nice. Nice, job. nice. Five job. Cast. Five cast. On the plast, on the ten. rubber. Oh. We saw this fish earlier this morning. When we had the double. Yep. On the pike. This is the one that came in behind it. Yep. A very nice tiger. I'm sure it's got to be the same. Yeah, Dan. Thank you so much. Oh, that is, that is absolutely a tank. A tank. North Dakota, baby. Look at the, oh, look at how beautiful that fish is. Oh, my. That is awesome, absolutely awesome. You're good. Yep. 43. Oh, nice fish. Well, it's the same side, probably a sibling. Man, I got heated up. I would. I wasn't even the one that caught the fish. I don't even know what to say. I mean, this is just one of them incredible situations to come out and fish muskies. And I've been out to the Dakotas, I can't even tell you how many times. This is one of my favorite places to come, like I was saying earlier. You know, something I do want to talk to you about is that, you know, most areas that you do fish in, um, there's always like a favorite bait, you know? So, and you were talking a little bit earlier about, you know, you're, we're using a lot of blades out here. So let's talk a little bit about like some of your favorite baits to use out in the Dakotas here. Yeah, I think every fish this morning pretty much has come on, besides that one, has come on a Jenny Boo. I mean, there's a- and what a, Let's start with what a, what a Jenny Boo is. We got a couple right here next to you, but, but Jenny Boo is a, is a smaller bucktail. Um, they run, I think they're called Petite Nine Blades. There's a guy out of Fargo that makes them and they're just weighted really good. They're built good, um, good for burning. He, he runs usually ounce and a half to two and a half ounce weights on them. So keeps it down in the water column and, and speed kills with these muskies. Oh man, that thing just oh, yeah, absolutely. Good. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at that sight. Oh, that is a giant. Oh, holy. Don't do that, girl. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo. Nice job. That's the one right there. Nice that job. Nice buddy. job, my friend. Good job, Woo! Too, man. Number crossed. seven for the day, folks, in the boat. I'll tell you. I mean, that is incredible, Jeff. I don't care where you're fishing. Absolutely. Right? Oh, that is a very pretty fish right there. Beautiful wow. fish. Nice, stout. You got a good hold of him and everything. Oh, he gone. Uh, uh, uh. He gone. <laughs> that fish is like rock and roll. Okay, hey, that's hey. called the North Dakota bath right there. Right there. <laughs> North Dakota bath. Hey, so Kellen, let's talk a little bit about, you know, because one of the main reasons we came and got in contact with you is that you run a 2090 Warrior. And you've had a, a few of these boats. So why the 2090 for you? Look at the, the deck, we're wide open. I mean, you don't run out of casting space. As far as guiding, I get to see everything in front. I'm in the back, I'm in control of the boat. But when it comes to musky fishing, there isn't a better boat. Like, I, mean, I love fishing Lake of the Woods. I love fishing big water to handle. As far as handling, it's unreal. It, it'll just, tear up the waves, there's yeah. no doubt about that. So just open this.
built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Ingenuity. <laughs> oh, come on inside. Oh, man, it's a piece of tuna. Oh. JVR taken down by what? Tuna. Tuna. <laughs> it's a the wrong species. It's not oh, a musky. It's stuck in there. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, that's not good. Pro tip of the day: smaller bites of tuna. That way they don't get stuck in your throat. Right, grab the net, Kellen. Oh, holy man, that's a big one. He just slammed it. You told me to go with that plastic. Holy, look at the size of this one. Whoa, whoa, holy, that's a giant bike. Whoa, I thought for sure it was a muskie. Whoa, nice job, yeah. buddy. Man, fish. that's a dandy. Look at that bike. Holy camoly, that is a giant bike. You know, you were talking before, too about all the big pike and you showed me the picture of that monster that your wife got. That's incredible when you start thinking about pike of this size. Yeah, look at the belly on that one. That is definitely a beautiful thing. It is, I'm gonna let her go. Well, I'll tell you what, you know what? I like catching pike as much as I like catching muskies. I know Jeff doesn't like to hear that, but uh, you know what? Gators are gators. Look at that, everybody. Woo, chunky monkey. Girl. Yeah, that's that's cool. Woo! The GE right by the boat. Right by the boat. That's what I thought for sure it was a musky. Woo! Nice job. Oh, look at the size of that fish. Holy! That is a. Oh, this might be the biggest fish yet. Wow! That thing just absolutely crashed that thing. Whoa, Whoa nice. <laughs> Woo! Hey, he just had a big though. mouth. Still a nice fish. Oh, man, feisty. Boy, when I saw the head of that fish, I thought for sure it was a 42, 45 incher. Yeah, man, man, he came off the way he whaled it. That oh. fish is full of. <laughs> I, guess he had, I guess he, I guess he had a fight left in him yet here. Maybe we just get him back, huh? Holy cow! You I can see like the growth like, rates on these fish must be just fantastic. Look at how fat that fish is. Beautiful colors. Oh this fishery is just. You just don't like to be held that way. I'm gonna get him back here. He's, he wants to swim. Wow. I'm amazed on that fish. I thought for sure it was a giant. <laughs> the tail just wouldn't stop pumping, but we didn't want to hurt him. That nice is job. so cool. Oh, that's cool. Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip is definitely coming from you, Kellen. You know what, being a North Dakota guy, you guys live for the outdoors. You got to have tips like no tomorrow. I'm going to throw you a curveball. My tip of the day would be get kids involved. I got a son. Ooh, I like that old, tip. Yep. And, uh, you know what? Don't be too busy for your kids. Don't be too busy for youth. Uh, get them involved in these sports and get them active. Because you know what? There's nothing better than seeing a kid smile and set the hook. No doubt, being outside doesn't matter if you're playing baseball or fishing or hunting is definitely being connected in great value. So I would agree 100% on that tip. Hey, I'll tell you what. Again, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey. Have let's, some jerky. Let's open it up. Open her up. A little honey. Honey barbecue. Good. Hey, I'll tell you what, you guys, what an amazing day and a half we had out here in North Dakota. And I'll tell you, Kellen, what a killer, killer bite you put us on. Let's tell everybody at home, really, what kind of structure you're fishing when you come out here. Yeah, so it depends on the time of year. But right now, like this last day and a half, we targeted a lot of deeper water. Uh, we were fishing the outside weed edges, you know, anywhere from 15 to 30 foot of water. And then in the morning and the uh, sunset, we targeted some shallower water with some blades. Threw a lot of rubber, threw a lot of blades. The Jenny Boo is definitely produced. The Jenny Boo, where is the Jenny Boo even made? It's, it's out of Fargo. It's a guy that's a homemade uh, bucktail maker. And okay. Just does a great job and um, great bait it produced. And Absolutely. We've seen, we've seen the results and 
I had a lot of fun to you guys. Thank you very much. Like blast, meeting man. good people, uh, other outdoors and share the same passion. Awesome. That's what it's all about. You know, it was really cool to see somebody approach a fishery that you really don't know anything about, right? Like, I mean, I came out here, you get a, you get a little background. We talked on the phone beforehand and you kind of get, but it's cool to see, especially if you don't have anybody else around. You know, a lot of places you go, there's other people fishing, you're keying in on that, or other people are if you're new there. But just to see somebody work in, a, in an area that's uh, completely unfamiliar, at the end of the day, it was still musky fishing. It's really cool to see all those things come together. And like I said, I think there's some really good years ahead of it for this. And this is the, definitely the guy to talk to if you're coming fishing, right. for sure. Hey, Thank you. Hey, Callan, let's tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. I got a Facebook page, social media. It's uh, Latin Dress uh, Guide Service in Minor North Dakota. And phone number is 720-6510. And then I got something for you guys. Oh, really? So there's okay. a way you can earn a hat. In my boat. You okay. gotta catch your first muskie, and you guys didn't take too long to. <laughs> well, you, it was I you. Think, you put us on them. I think uh, so. Here's two hats. Well, oh, thank you very much. Hey, everybody. You know what? Again, thanks for joining us this week. Make sure that you guys check out all of our social media avenues, especially, and I mean especially our podcast that comes out every Tuesday. We eat fish eat. We're definitely going to have Kellen on there. Jeff has been on there before. But you know what? I love the podcast because we talk about so many things and we've got an hour of podcasts. So chit chat. It's all about, you know, the things that are happening in this country. And it's speaking of things that are happening in this country, I'm always going to say on this show, no doubt we're so proud if our men and women that serve in the armed forces, our hearts go out to them at all times. And thank you for everything that you've done and that you do do. Remember, as of today, no doubt we are still living in the greatest country in the world. And it is a great day to be alive. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> Did you catch that? Uh... You guys are always helping me. I can't believe it. I don't know how that happened. Right? Right away you start talking about things like football. Yeah. You know I hate football, right? That's, a, that's the easy one. Yeah. What are you doing with the camera? That was my fault. I'll take blame. Super real. I'll take blame. What a way to end a day and a half of absolutely killer fishing. Not with a pipe.